Hello and welcome back to another iHeat video. Today we're talking through the center wireless thermostat which may have been installed on your iHeat job. If not and you are in the market for a new boiler, aircon system or maybe a heat pump, head to the iheat.co.uk forward slash quote website. Fill in a really easy quote and we have the very next day to install a brand new boiler. Let's jump in and talk you through how to use your thermostat. Something cool about the center thermostat is that it already comes paired to its receiver. This isn't seen often in the wireless thermostat game. You don't have to pair them up, which is quite a lifesaver in this particular model. This means if you get a power cut or you lose range, as long as you go back into that range area and you do turn them back on, they will wirelessly reconnect, which is super handy. Just peel this off next to the microphone. Okay, that wasn't as nice as I was hoping it to be. In your home, you'll have one of these. This is a wireless receiver. This will be next to the boiler wired in. And then you'll have this here wireless thermostat, which you can move around your home wherever you'd like or mount it onto a wall with the base plate. So the first step is batteries. To do that, you want to pop up this bottom flap. There we go. And this takes two AA batteries. So whack them in and get it all powered up. If you're watching this video and you've had one of these thermostats a while and it isn't working as well as it used to do, or it's just not reconnected, or you're constantly just losing your programs, change the batteries and that could be the number one main issue. From the get-go, I should set your year and date. Of course, you've had it installed by iHeat, this will already be set up for you, but let's just set it up now to year 2025, which feels really weird to say. And the far right button means okay in most cases on this thermostat. So we are currently in January, so there we go. Getting the date and time is important on this thermostat as when you set your programs up to come on a Monday at 7 a.m., if it thinks it's currently like 9 p.m. on a Sunday, yeah, it won't actually know the date. It doesn't use the internet, it doesn't know what date it is. It's whatever you tell it is, it'll believe. So make sure you do this correctly. And then it will save that data to the thermostat and work from there. From here, you may need to take a step back and think about how your life works. If you want to use this in auto mode or manual mode. For me, my life is pretty hectic and I never know if I'm coming or going or if I'm gonna be at home for a certain amount of time. So my boiler is constantly in manual mode where I just whack it up to 21 degrees and I just hope that I'm in to reap the benefits. But if you live a more structured, a bit more scheduled lifestyle, the auto mode may be more beneficial to you. If you work a nine to five and you're out the house from nine to five, there's no point in your heating being on during that time unless you have family members who are at home, pets maybe that you care about or anything in between. To use manual mode, you wanna go over to the middle button and select manual. And then it is in manual mode and whatever you set the thermostat to is whatever the boiler will get to inside your home. So if it is currently 19 degrees inside this room and I have the boiler set to 20, one degrees, the boiler will kick in using that wireless receiver and start to heat the home. However, a common issue we do see on the customer service side of things is that people are setting it to like 16 degrees on manual mode and wondering why the boiler isn't on and why they feel cold. If your house is already 19 degrees, and you're setting it to 16 degrees, of course your heating isn't gonna be on and your boiler isn't some sort of aircon unit where it will just turn on and cool you down. It just waits for the temperature to drop inside your property. Then on the flip side, we have the auto mode. So we're gonna go back into the middle button and switch over to auto. And this is where our programs can begin and what we're gonna to learn to set in today's video. For this, we're gonna to pretend to be my parents' home where they wake up at 7 a.m., they set off for work at nine, and then they get home around five, 5.30, ready for their evening where they stay in and then do nothing sadly. So let's base it off that and this is how to set it up. To wake up your thermostat, just press any button on the front. You've got the three at the bottom and the two up and down arrows on the right. Press one of those and head over to menu using the far left button and then it'll come up with program and we wanna click okay using the right button. From here, we're gonna start off with Monday. Of course, you wanna get Monday all the way to the end of the week and we'll click okay. And then you have these different checkpoints to set. You've got P1, P2, P3, and P4. And this isn't Formula One, this isn't racing. This is just different periods inside your day to set parameters for your boiler. P1 is gonna be the earliest time as it is of course the first of the day. So we're gonna set it to half six in the morning. So it's half an hour before you wake up. Give the boiler a chance to actually heat up your home. We're gonna click okay. 6.30, that's a perfect time. And we want the house to be 20 degrees. We want it to be nice and warm so that when you do wake up, you do actually want to leave your bed and start your day as your house isn't freezing. There we go, 20 degrees, okay. That's gonna save now to the thermostat. P2, this is gonna be when we want the boiler to turn off or just not be on. So P2, okay. Set the time to 9 a.m. So that's when my parents start to leave for work. And we want this to be anywhere below 16 degrees. So I'm gonna to set to 10 degrees, but you could do five, you could do 11. Whatever your house will never get to is what you want your thermostat to be set to. So. In my home, it's a 
semi new build where it won't drop below 20 degrees because of the insulation inside the home. So I can have my boiler set to 18 degrees and it will never actually come on. But in some houses like my brother's, it's really old and um, it has single pane windows everywhere. It can drop to as low as 14 degrees. So set your boiler to whatever temperature your house will never get to unless there's some apocalyptic ice age freeze where you don't want your pipes to froze over. So 10 degrees is perfectly fine. Click OK. Now we need to set the time for when they return from home. So this is around 5, 5.30. So the heating comes back on and they enter their home nice and warm. So click OK. Set it to about 5, 5 p.m. And again, your target temperature will be around 20, 21 degrees whatever you're comfortable with inside your home. Then they just stay in, they just have tea, they watch a bit of TV, they read a book, and then they, they go to bed. So we're looking at around you know half 10, 11 p.m. We want the boiler to turn back off to that 10 degree limit. So the boiler isn't on wasting, heating up that entire home for the day. If you are someone who wants to be slightly warm during the night, you know, either pay the expensive gas bill or maybe pick up like an electric blanket, which you can just leave on quite a low setting throughout the night. As there's no point heating up your entire home just for you in your bed, in, in your house. So I'm gonna do 11 o'clock, 10 degrees, and then it'll wait for that P1 the following day to then turn the boiler back on. Okay, and that's gonna save it to Monday for your thermostat. And then Tuesday, we have this nice little feature in the middle. This is the middle button, you click copy, and that will just copy whatever I set Monday to, to Tuesday, then to Wednesday, then to Thursday, then Friday, all week, as most people have a very structured nine to five, Monday to Friday. Now you may work from home on a Wednesday, Okay, that's fair enough. Um, in this case, back out of this using the back button and then set your actual parameters for you, what you want it to do. So if you wake up at 9 a.m. because you work from home, maybe get it to come at 9 a.m. Turn it off at lunchtime because you go out for lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very self-explanatory from here. If you have any more questions, get in touch with our customer service team or leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I'm just going to copy this all the way through Monday to Friday using the days six and seven. And then at the weekend, I'm going to go a bit crazy. I might not need the temperature on for when I go for a hike on a Saturday. Today, so we're gonna leave the boiler off all day, all morning, and then come on around 3 p.m. Again, just set this up nice and easy, P1, P2, P3, P4, very straightforward and super, super simple. From here, you are all good to go. Just make sure you click auto mode when you actually put the thermostat on your wall. If you leave it in manual mode, it will just work manually to how you set it. And that is your thermostat ready to go. So any more questions, do leave them down below, but that should be pretty much it. It's a very simple thermostat. Also, if you get into a pickle, there is a QR code on the front you can scan with your phone and it'll pull up many guides and videos from center themselves which is super super handy so as mentioned before if you are in the market for a new boiler or aircon unit heat pump head to the iHeat website fill in a quick quote and see what we can do for you but other than that that is it from me thanks for watching see you in the next one this has been iHeat <laughs>